we're gonna go collect pine cones. <laughs> this is like the height of 2020. How's your Saturday going? We're collecting pine cones. Christmas postcards. Today is something exciting. We are going to go um, scavenge for pine cones and do some arts and crafts. That sounds like fun. It sounds like a good Saturday. Yep. All right, so um, I hear your coffee's on the pot, so I gotta go Ooh. make Tasha a coffee. Oh look, a bird took a massive dump on my broken car. <laughs> awesome, just went up in value. Yeah, don't jiggle the handles. You're gonna break my last remaining handle. No, this is a new handle, so this one's good for another That was place. a new handle too. There you go, new oh. handle. At 20% of my handles functioning. What was me? Pray for Dave. So what we're gonna do is I had the bright idea that we find some pine cones and um, do some do-it-yourself um, scented pine cones and a little arts and crafts tonight. So we're off to one part of Los Angeles that has uh, pine trees and we hope to find some of their cones. So Tasha always makes fun of me for not using filters on my Instagram, but the filters that they have now, like what was the one you just showed me called? vintage look that's that's insane i looked gorgeous if i looked at a filter like that version of me all day long and i looked at myself in the mirror brushing my teeth i'd want to punch myself in the face yeah it really it it can be sad when you see your face makeup free filter free after <laughs> you've been looking at a gorgeous made up face well how do you think i feel when i'm like trying to take a photo of you and you're all glammed up but i accidentally have it on the selfie camera and it just shows like my just real ridiculous scowl. It only works good when it's like up close. This is what's wrong with teen girls. They're looking at this thinking that's the attainable. I look like a 10 out of 10 right now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm doing an unboxing, so if you could not interrupt. All right, Tasha's doing an unboxing. Go follow Tasha at Tasha Courtney on Instagram if you want to see what she's about to unbox. What is it? It's a package from Manny Me. So it's a manicure thing? Yeah. How exciting. All right, I just, I literally just found two pine cones on the side of the road. This is how it's gonna go today. People don't know why that handle's broken. You gotta watch my video from the other day. Is it legal to forage for pine cones? Yeah, yeah some dog probably pissed on them. We'll clean them. Oh, beautiful pine tree. This one's nice. That's beautiful. Pine cones in Los Angeles. That's a nice pine cone. Ooh, there's like a spider living. Well, in we're that gonna one. clean them. We're gonna. It says bake them for an hour. Put that one in the back seat. Are you ready for this? Yeah. The biggest pine cone we've ever seen. Ah, uh, it's got spider webs all over it. Wow. These are gonna smell good. Yeah, we'll leave some for other pine cone collectors. Where do you think those came from? We really love this part of town. It's just uh, right near the uh, place where we go hiking. I always think it would be fun to live here. And then I think about how horrible it would be to have to live on a street with so much traffic every day. go to Sprouts and buy some cinnamon essential oil. We're gonna clean and then bake these pine cones for an hour at 200 degrees. 
uh, killing off anything that's in there, and then we're gonna uh, scent the hell out of them. Honey, I got sap on the GoPro. Great. These are well, that's there forever now. Christmas problems. Ugh. Boy, we really stumbled on this amazing spot. Check it out. Good job, Tasha. Tasha found a great spot. She had to shoot a little video for her Instagram, and then I got a couple drone shots, as you can see over here. Good spot, Tasha. Okay, so the GoPro is the stickiest GoPro there's ever been, but it's the best smelling GoPro. This GoPro smells like a pine forest. Maybe I'm onto some sort of technology here. It's like the uh, pine tar of GoProing. Like who needs a nice mount when you can just get some sap on your GoPro? You stick it to things. All right, you want to go to Sprouts? Yeah. Do you guys have Sprouts where you live? Sprouts has great um, essential oils, but it's also got really good healthy food. So we, we always get some healthy frozen pizzas while we're there. It's kind of an oxymoron, healthy frozen pizza. You get the point. Can I get two Beyond Avocado Tacos? And can I get a number two? And do you have Diet Coke? Yeah, what size? Medium. Does yours come with fries? Yes. Mine came with fries and I have figured you would want fries. Oh, I gotta put my mask on. This guy had about the same charisma of those pine cones. Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a medium. They actually have Diet Coke here. It's actually healthier than Taco Bell, I think. They have way more options here. It feels like fall weather. People want to see what you got. Tasha loves Del Taco. It's one of those places you forget about and then you go, you want Del Taco? And you go, yeah, I do. And look, oh, this is a medium. Amazing. Yeah, Del Taco does those fries your mom makes. These look, these are too noodly. I like a crisp one. Uh-uh, oh, perfect. Goes to Del Taco, gets french fries. So Bloomberg tried to regulate drink sizes in New York City and he got shut down because that's like not legal. I think the ACLU shut them down. But this is a medium. For anyone who's watching this who lives outside the country, does this look like does this look like a medium to you? You would get shot in France if, they, if they, this is like a jumbo extra large in France. See, Taco Bell doesn't put avocado on their you stuff. It. Beyond meat, an avocado. Mm, good. You know why this clamp is 10 bucks? and not like the nice GoPro one, because watch. See that? You know how loud that's gonna sound when I have to edit this? I'm wearing a white shirt with a taco. We're taking risks. A Christmas flex. I'm trying to get Christmas flex to take off. I'm just th throwing it into every episode. Yeah, the only humble brag I've had literally all year is that we got featured by MX Essentials. This is literally the only thing I've cared enough to brag about all year. They didn't make a big deal out of it to your mom. Your mom needs to know that that's a big deal. Tasha and I got featured on AMXEssentials.com. Uh, I'll post a clip right now. And it was uh, Tasha's photography from our trip to Thailand several days after we got engaged. In the, the photo they decided to use, I've got a wedgie. My little butt's kind of hugging the bathing suit and I was like literally on my deathbed about to die but we had to get these photos taken for this uh, hotel deal that we had done but Tasha was a trooper she got the good photos and I know what you're thinking how did she get the photo if she's in it every single take she knew she'd reset everything you did a good job and then in between takes I was laying down trying to die I mean I really almost had to go to the hospital well because you, you know you know how you know I was sick I didn't even eat the pain or chocolat we had like chocolate croissants and I was like, no. That's how you know I'm sick if I turn down a chocolate croissant. <laughs> That's like, all right, something's wrong with Dave. I wanted to do a quick video before the sun goes down. Uh, it looks like the pine cone making is gonna be a two-parter. So we got the pine cones and we got some enormous pine cones and some of the smallest pine cones. Tasha loves a runt. She likes a small pine cone. She likes a dog with stubby legs. She likes a boyfriend with a belly. She likes a runt. All right, so um, we'll see what we can do with these pine cones. If you know me, you know the glue gun's gonna come out. We got some uh, glitter glue, and I think with one of those, we might even wanna paint some of the 
uh, petals of the pine cone, red and green. Just a thought. Tasha doesn't know about that, but we'll see. Tonight, we're gonna have to wash the pine cones. As you know, I've got, you know, pine cone um, juices all over the GoPro already. So we're gonna wash the pine cones and then slow cook them in the oven at 200 degrees for an hour. And then, um, and then we'll spray on the essential oil we just bought at uh, Sprouts, which we ended up getting cinnamon and clove. And let me tell you something. Look at the expression Tasha has for cinnamon and clove. If you're not a basic chick who doesn't like cinnamon and clove, who are you? I mean, that is a smell any white woman can get behind. Everybody loves cinnamon and cloves. <laughs> Look at the conviction she's at. Everybody loves cinnamon and cloves. When everybody loves the farmer's market, cinnamon, cloves, pillows, and candles. Uh, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned tomorrow. Hit the subscribe button and we'll, uh, we'll show you the final product. But uh, not bad for living in a desert city. Not bad that we actually found a few pine cones. For a second there, it was looking like we weren't going to find any. Um, but boy, did we get some massive pine cones. I mean, you've never seen a pine cone that big. I always sound like Trump when I'm describing like things that are the pine cones. They're the biggest pine cones you've ever seen. We're good. We got chili to make for tomorrow. Um, we got Del Taco. I finally got a Diet Coke. And boy, like a, like a crackhead to a needle, this thing. Oh, I like a simple Diet Coke. What do you think? Look at these people. What the Christmas season, wow. and we, you know, we're in a. Those people literally ran a red light in front of oncoming traffic for what? For what? I think the people behind us are trying to chase them. I'm telling Look you, at this. If you do. Is this a stolen car? That uh, person went like car. that. And I think it's the car to the right of. No, that car's just trying to get out of the way. Boy, what you, the? You, f here's what we got to do. Here, here's a million-dollar Christmas movie idea. YouTube couple does vlog miss. They find out in the footage that they uncover a mystery. So it's a Christmas Vlogmas murder mystery. You heard it here first, folks. It's a, Chris, it's a Los Angeles stolen car chase. Christmas mystery. All right, well, that's the update. That's the long update. So thank you guys for tuning in to Vlogmas. To be continued, we will see you again tomorrow. Oh, and uh, we have some big things in store. Uh, little Birdie just told me that on December 21st, the Christmas star will be making an appearance for the first time in 800 years. Methinks we need to go get that in astrophotography.